In this video, I will show you how you can delete your Microsoft account on mobile. First of all, open up any browser on your smartphone. And note, the process of deleting a Microsoft account will be pretty much same on Android or iPhone. Once you open the browser on your iPhone or Android device, go to search bar and type Microsoft and click search. Now at the very top, you will see official website of Microsoft, Microsoft.com. So you have to visit to this website in order to delete your Microsoft account. So here click on Microsoft.com. And in this page at the top right, you will find this account or person icon. Click on it. And then sign into your Microsoft account using your email, phone number or Skype and password. Now Microsoft will ask you to stay signed in, but here you have to select no. And you will be signed into your Microsoft account. Now here again in this page, tap on your profile icon at the top right. And then click on my Microsoft account. And that will bring you to here to your Microsoft account section. And here in this page at the top left, you will see this three horizontal line. Click on it. And here you have to visit to your account information. So here tap on your info. Now in this page under your Microsoft profile info, scroll down to account info. And under here you can find close account option. So as you want to close your Microsoft account, here click on close account. Now here make sure you give it a read because it is important you should know before closing your Microsoft account. So to delete your Microsoft account, here in this page again click on close account. And now in this page you might be required to verify your Microsoft account. But here it is telling me to add a method to verify my Microsoft account because I had not linked any phone number or email address to my Microsoft account. So under here I have to select an email address or phone number. Here I'm gonna be selecting an alternate email address. Now if you have already done this process, if you have already linked an email address or phone number to your Microsoft account, then you won't be required to do this step. You will be directly landed in the verification step, where you have to just enter the code that you receive on your phone number or email address. Now let me quickly put my email address here. And let's click on next. Now I need to enter the code that I receive on this email address. So let me enter the code. And let's click on next. Okay, so I have successfully linked my email address to the Microsoft account and right now I am in the verification step and here I have to verify my identity. And as I said previously, if you have linked your phone number or an alternate email address to your Microsoft account, then you will be directly landed in this page. Now here you have to select your verification method. So here you will have either email address or phone number option depend on the verification method that you have added to your Microsoft account. So here I'm gonna select my email address. And in this step, you have to verify your email and phone number. So here again, enter your email or phone number and then click on send code. Now enter the code here and click on verify. And there it is. Now you will be in this page and here you can delete your Microsoft account. And here make sure you give it a read because these are important things that you should know before deleting your Microsoft account. Now in this page, scroll down to bottom and here this is just in case if you change your mind then Microsoft actually can wait for up to 60 days before they permanently delete your account. So here you have the option if you change your mind, then you can actually recover your deleted Microsoft account within the next 60 days since the day you delete your Microsoft account. And also you can bring it down to 30 days. And here my recommendation will be 30 days because as you want to delete your Microsoft account permanently, you will have only 30 days. And between that periods, you should not sign into your Microsoft account using the same email address or phone number. So here let's select on 30 days. And now let's click on next. And in this page, check on all these boxes. And under here, select the reason why you want to delete your Microsoft account permanently. Here you have all these options. And if you don't find your options, then here you can select my reason is not listed. But here I'm gonna be selecting I use a different Microsoft account and don't need this one. Once you selected the reason, finally, click on mark account for closure. And that is here you can read. I can actually reopen this account. I can prevent the closure of my Microsoft account by just signing back in within the next 30 days. And if I want to permanently delete this account, I won't do that. And you have to do the same. You should not sign into your Microsoft account within the next 30 days since the day you deleted your Microsoft account. So make sure you follow these steps to delete your Microsoft account permanently. Now here let me take a screenshot and let's click on done. And there it is, now you will be in the sign in page of Microsoft and your Microsoft account will be permanently deleted after 30 days or 60 days as per your selection. So make sure you don't sign into your Microsoft account using the same email address or phone number. 
So that's pretty much it is. That's how you can delete your Microsoft account on your phone, Android or iOS. And if you found this video helpful, then make sure you leave a like and comment in this video. And if you want to create an Outlook email account so that you can manage all email addresses from there, then watch this video and I will see you in the next one.